you guys, your boy Big Dog here, the Living Cinema Score, back with another one take review. And this is for someone great. Got another rom com on Netflix. Y'all know Netflix, they drop the rom coms. And I, they honestly really haven't missed with any of them. Like, Netflix got some really good rom coms. So if you're looking for some, I would advise you go to Netflix because they they, they got some really good. To all the boys I loved before, set it up. Uh, this, uh, well, no, it's not. A movie called this. I'm talking about this movie that I'm reviewing right now, and uh, the most recent one, The Perfect Day. Well, I don't know which one of these is the most recent. But either way, this movie stars uh, Gina Rodriguez, the Key Stanfield, the Wanda Wise, and uh, Brittany Snow. And it's basically a. Uh, this is a movie about a love story inside a breakup story. Okay, because if you don't, uh, Gina Rodriguez and Keith Stanfield were dating for like nine years and she got her dream job in San Francisco, but they live in New York. So she's going to San Francisco to take her dream job. And he's like, yeah, well, I can't go. I don't, and, I, and he didn't want to do like the long distance thing. So it's like, we just gonna have to end it here. After nine years, like nine years with somebody is like a, like a, a very long time. Couldn't imagine, couldn't possibly imagine doing it. This It's insane. But, like she's going through that tough, tough breakup. You know what I'm saying? She's sad and shit. And so, and, and throughout the movie, it's like flashbacks, but like very well done flashback to like see like how they got together, how this whole thing started. And like and she goes certain places, certain places that remind him of things that they did together. And like it doesn't like one thing I like about the movie, it doesn't portray anybody as like the bad guy, just because like it's just like a thing of life. Like people. Things, decisions are made that just like everybody has to do what's in their best interest. You know what I'm saying? And like her friends are really good, like played by Dewanda Wise and uh, uh, Brittany Snow. Her friends are really cool and, and very supportive. You know what I'm saying? They bring like a, a, a different, everybody got like a different aspect to themselves. You know what I'm saying? A different person, type of personality. Everybody's not the same. You know what I'm saying? And it, one thing about the movie also seems very realistic. Like the way the characters act seems very, very realistic. Realistic the decisions they make seem realistic. There was one thing that I didn't like, just as a one. Okay, one of the characters cheats on their like significant other, and then breaks up with them. That and like it seemed like it was okay for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was like okay, it was like, what? and like the person who pretty much got dumped. You can tell it bothered them, but I, but once they were gone, they were gone. And I get why they did that because like probably keeping it short or something. But it's kind of like I, it kind of gave me like a nasty taste for the person who, who cheated. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like I can't. Even though it's real, it's realistic as fuck. Like don't get me wrong, it's realistic, and I know that happens. But it's like it kind of gave me like. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like this person anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I know like she's a, a person. I, I'm not necessarily supposed. To, like, I don't have to like them, but I'm like that. Uh, that's never cool with me. So it's just like a personal decision in my mind. So I'm like, I'm not cool with this, and everybody else seemed to be cool, and uh, it kind of bothered me. Uh, but yeah, they. I think the the way the story was told and the way the way it wrapped up was very realistic. Um, it made sense. The stuff they did, like I, like I said, all the decisions they made were like seen. You know what I'm saying? Because like you've had situations where you had like a friend who get into a bad breakup, you like, and they won't just want you around to comfort them. So like, let's go do something. Let's stay busy. Because if you don't get busy, stay busy. I'm gonna sit around. I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'm sad now. You know what I'm saying? So the way they went about it, like, made sense, and and, and like you kind of. And you enjoy it because, because like you enjoyed them trying to uplift their friend who's suffered through something. You know what I'm saying? Tragic. You've been with somebody nine years. You don't. I'm sorry. After nine years, you just don't. Think, at that point, it's like shit. You basically married at this point anyway. Uh, so, and then I like how they portray Lakeith Stanfield. They they didn't portray him as like uh, a piece. You know, sometimes you can like they can like since you're following one the main character. The, their the person they was weak and always seems like oh well maybe it wasn't as good as you thought and like no it wasn't I mean it was it was what a relationship is like yeah it's ups and downs and they showed that 
Uh, just like any other relationship, you know what I'm saying, it has ups and downs and they show that it is it didn't it didn't paint like a perfect picture or it's like she painted as a perfect perfect picture and then you really see the relationship and it was not that at all. It was horrible. No, it was it was a perfect blend of like what a relationship actually is. And so yeah, I, I thought it was, I thought it was fun and it was some really, really, really fun funny moments. Uh I think they did some really good character development with like a couple of them, some people kind of feel like got pushed to the side, but I think that was for storytelling purposes, and I, they they weren't like a key, uh, 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 eccentric part of this story, so that's why they didn't get as much screen time and some other thing. But yeah, I, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. Uh, at first, it took me a minute to get into like those first fifteen minutes. I was, it was like okay, and then I think it just really picks up, and then from that point on, you just you pretty much invested in everything that's going on. You may not like everything that's going on, but you're really paying attention to everything that's going on, and you have a you have a take on it. You know what I'm saying? You, it's it's either I like it, or, I'd rather like something or don't like something, rather than just like not have a feeling about it at all. And I think that's pretty much how the movie is from like after like the 15 minute mark to the end. You know what I'm saying? And since it's an hour and 30 minutes, like so, this majority of them was very much a, a big part of the movie that I super super invested in. But uh, yeah, if I'm, I'm grading, I'll have to give it like a uh, I'll give it a solid B, solid B, solid B. I'm, I love rom coms, like super. Like, if I was you watch my channel, you know, it's superhero films, then rom coms for me. I love a good rom com, throw it on any time of the day, especially at night, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hopeless romantic, I guess. I don't know, man. But uh, you guys let me know what you thought about this down in the comments. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Catch up with you guys later.